Hey YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Another movie concerning the Mad Scientist Project on Thumb Nuts. Here we see the 12th prototype. This is what I call a turbo thumb nut. Combining as it does the straight leading edges of the standard thumb nut with the twisted wings of the thumb pillar and the thumb turbines. Now of course it would be nice if I could pretend to have originated the concept of the thumb nut but that would not be true. I first heard of thumb nuts when my daughter sent me an SMS text photograph. The message said, Papa, whittle me one of these, question mark. And the picture was this, which at first I thought was a broken model aeroplane propeller with the hub board out. Something like this one modified for literary use. But on close inspection it can be seen that the tips of this thumb nut in the picture have their axis leading to trailing edge perfectly parallel with the axis of the central thumb hole. There is no helical pitch there's no twistiness in the original thumb nut. But I'm a propeller carver from way back. And my first thought was if you're going to go to all the trouble of carving wings around a hole, hello Ant, you're on YouTube. If you're going to go to all the trouble of carving wings around a hole, then you might as well impart some twistiness into the carving because it makes for a more elegant final product. Aerofoil section blades opposed in pitch. It just seemed so obvious. So the first time I tried to replicate this to fit on my thumb I carved it with opposing pitched blades and I discovered that because the thumb nut is designed to grip the book and squeeze the page against the back of the book, against the fingers and not break the spine you really do get some obscuration of the bottom line of the print with a symmetrical pitched wing thumb nut. The other big learning is that if you use a drill anything like close to the size of the final hole it will rip such large divots out of the inside of the hub that you wind up having to fill the divots with sawdust and epoxy and who wants a thumb nut that's obviously been bogged up. So I got better at carving hubs but when I took some of these to my daughter the first thing she complained about was the helical pitch on the wings. Not only did she not want it to look like a propeller she complained about the bottom line of print being obscured. And it didn't appear to matter to her that uh, the bottom line of the print is obscured in the original picture. And with boutique woodwork the customer's always right. And so I had a go at making a straight winged thumb nut. Which I concede is in fact slightly better but for the fact that it almost 
too closely resembles the original. You can see it's got little triangular flat spots there, either side of the thumb, on the base of the wing. This one also has a discernible flat area, either side of the thumb, which is technically important because if the person who invented this has registered the design, then I need to change some dimension by at least 10% in any direction in order to have free slather at making my own. If they've patented this, then I'm going to assume that their patent merely concerns the nature of a tool to be worn on the thumb to extend the width of the thumb and so assist the reading of a paperback book. I'm going to assume that they don't mention the aesthetics of the curvature of the shape and they don't mention the grain of the wood either. So, when I showed the straight wing thumb nut to the darling daughter child, the next problem was it fits on my thumb and I'm an adult male. But on her thumb, it sunk all the way down to the palm. So because adult females have smaller thumbs than men, I had to go and come up with a straight winged lady's thumb nut that's 8 centimetres from tip to tip, instead of 10, and which is a 15 to 18 millimetre central hole instead of 20 to 25 millimetre central hole. And let's just hope I said 15 to 18 millimetres, not 15 to 18 centimetres, because I'm not going to shoot this movie again. Not today. So, <clears throat> I made a straight wing thumb nut for my darling daughter, supplied her with a ladies size twisted thumb turbine, and her verdict was, yep, that's fine dad, that's just great. While this one was still in the category of why would you want to make your thumb nut look like a propeller dad. So I tried to explain the technical paperwork difference between something that's got lots and lots of curves all over it to distinguish itself from a possibly patented flat-edged object and that didn't seem to make much sense to her. So for the fun of it I tried making a swept wing thumb nut. And the swept wing thumb nut indeed secured the darling dot our child's approval. It's not a very huge degree of sweep back, but it's just enough to matter, and it does work. And then I had the brainwave of a flush leading edge on a twisted thumb nut, and thus the turbo thumb nut was born. Number 12. And I've been really careful to ensure that the contact line from the centre of the blade tip across the hub is pretty much identical on both blades of the turbo thumb nut and very, very similar to the geometry of the contact area on the straight thumb nut. So, in terms of functionality, the turbo thumb nut is every bit as good as the straight thumb nut. That means we're down to appearance. And as they say, beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. So maybe it depends on how drunk you are, but I really do like to think that the added complication of having opposing twisted veins makes the turbo thumb nut just ever so slightly more bemusing in the same way that being made out of natural wood rather than being extruded or moulded or stamped out of plastic because wood is natural and being made out of wood it is self-evident that they've been handmade and therefore you're looking at artisanal, handcrafted, cottage industry pricing rather than cost of 
manufacturing in the plastics industry. And I've shown everybody how to make them. If you can teach yourself to make one of these in less than four hours, then go your hardest. The fact that you've made it for yourself will probably mean that it is as satisfying to you as one that you've paid a propeller carver to make and send to you. And while pretty much anybody should be able to drill and saw and file one of these, it'll take a while to be able to get one of these right. And one of these will take even longer. But when it's all said and done, the major difference between a thumb nut and a turbo thumb nut is that when you're sort of sitting quietly, pensively, bemused with the concept that you've discovered printed on the page of the book, if you take your ordinary thumb nut and you stick it on a pen, you can huff and puff until you go blue in the face, but it will not sit there and spin. In contradistinction to a turbo thumb nut, perhaps even a literary thumb turbine, which will allow you to sit and pause and ponder and spin the ideas into your brain. So, therefore a thumb nut and therefore a turbo thumb nut which is superior due to its aesthetic performance and its extra abilities. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.